I'm very excited about the introduction of biosimilars and particularly now therapeutic biosimilars, which has just occurred in the last few months. Uh, and I think the reason is really based on value. We're seeing rising drug costs. Everyone knows that. Um, they're talking about it a lot in Washington, but they're talking about it on Main Street too because our patients every day are faced with bills that are catastrophically high and sometimes cause bankruptcy and, and other problems for them. So how can we reduce the cost of therapy, especially these life-saving therapies that are so wonderful but are expensive to develop? So Biosimilars fits that niche because the development process is different than it is for an originated drug. And it's mainly focused around showing the analytic similarity of a biologic to a biosimilar. Every lot of biologic agents is by definition, since it's made in cells, a little different from the others. So a very rigorous process of evaluating the molecule, then evaluating the pharmacokinetics, evaluating its preclinical activity, and finally, less emphasis on the clinical trials but enough emphasis on the clinical trials that you can extrapolate to the different indications of the drug. I'm very comfortable with the way that the process has been developed. FDA has given good guidance on this and has now approved a number of biosimilars in the therapeutic cancer space. Europe is a little ahead of us. They have about 10 years of experience and uh, the follow-up on the 10 years of experience shows no difference or no safety signals or efficacy signals. And so I'm very comfortable using uh, biologics in breast cancer 